So we have one more for you. My sister really wants to talk about music. So we're gonna talk about that music and worship pathway. So Krista, how does it feel for you when you're experiencing that pathway to Christ? When you're experiencing God in worship and in song and music? Worship with music is my favorite way to connect with God. Mm -hmm. um, it's the communal worship. I'm really missing that part yeah. with my church right now. That's mm -hmm. been really hard for me over COVID. Yeah. Um, because I just love praising God with mm -hmm. many voices and yeah. that feeling of Holy Spirit being present mm -hmm. as we're worshiping mm -hmm. is just incredible. And often it makes me cry. Yeah. Um, Sometimes you know it's good when you cry. <laughs> yeah. Because it just, it really fills me. Mm -hmm. And I walk out of there feeling so much lighter and I'm not worried about any burdens or anything yeah. going on in my heart or my mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm just able to totally fully submit to him. Yeah. That's the important part. That's the mission part. I think sometimes we hold ourselves back. Um, both Chris and I grew up in the Adventist faith and they're similar to the Presbyterian faith in that um, we don't like to move when we're worshiping as far as moving our hands or um, clapping or anything like that. So we didn't grow up in that tradition and um, the Presbyterian church is much the same way. It's like, oh, you know, I don't know. Can we dance? Can we lift our hands? Can we praise God in that way? And as Krista and I have grown, we have started to recognize that worship isn't about us. Worship is about God. And we're not about to let anything steal that worship time from us because we have found that it's about submission to him. And when we submit to God, when we are like this worship time isn't about how I sound in church. This worship time isn't about what other people are thinking of me. This is about my relationship with God and I just want more of it and I want to go deeper with him and know him more and this music is flooding over me and I feel so close to him and it feels so real and I am assuming that all the people around me are feeling the same way even if they're not. <laughs> So if this is your relational pathway, it's going to sound a lot like this, where she gets so excited about music. What are some other ways that you um, use music to get closer to God? I've noticed so many times in my life, mm -hmm. like we have a radio station in Alberta called Shrine FM, mm -hmm. and I love that it plays worship music. And so my radio is always tuned to that. Yeah. And sometimes when I turn my car on, um, I'll be you know, just kind of at war within myself sometimes mm -hmm. with just chaos or whatever, just conflicting emotions sometimes. And I'll turn my radio on and the song will come on that will just speak to my soul. And I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, thank you, God. I needed to hear this. Usually there's tears as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning to be okay with this. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I just love that. I love how God speaks to me through music so deeply. Mm -hmm. And that's always been such a part of us from mm -hmm. when we were kids. Yeah. And, I mean, music has been a huge part of our family yeah. and our, our relationship as a family as yes. well with yes. mom and dad singing together and mm -hmm. mom playing gathering piano. around the piano and singing together. Yes. Yeah. And listening to the Gathers and Steve Green and, mm -hmm. you know, dad's favorite songs. Yeah, I still can't get through He Lives without yep. like looking for dad's voice in the audience or just oh, be having tears yep. in my eyes because it was him. And yep. it was how it was a, one of those early ways that we started to go, oh, that relationship with God is really special. Yeah. Because we would see our, our dad's eyes tear up like ours yeah. and <laughs> we would just feel so close to God sitting in church with our dad or just sitting at home in family worship, listening to mm -hmm. him praise God, especially with that song. He would just raise his voice yeah. to God in this beautiful baritone voice. And it was just a beautiful part of our childhood. And so music became a part of our life very young. Our mom sang a lot of like little kids songs with us. And when we went to church, we had lots of little songs and all throughout growing up, we would have little songs from church or from my mom. She'd get little tapes or CDs were old tapes um, <laughs> and play them in the car. And we would sing along and those are kind of they're the heartbeat of our childhood, hearing music. Um, both Krista and I dabbled in playing different instruments and singing, and it is a huge part of our relationship with God, as well as a defining character in our family. Um, this last week, it was beautiful to see the legacy of that. My daughter sang in church. She sang as part of the praise team, and to hear her voice ring out, and to hear her praise God in that way, it's like that legacy continues. We've had music in our home. Kirsty, you've had music in your home. 
and our kids um, definitely respond to God more through music. Sometimes during COVID, what we have done for our church is just to turn on praise music, sit together in the living room and just sing together. And we feel close to God that way. Mm -hmm. And I know that, you know, with your son, he definitely loves music too. Very. You can just tell that it just feeds him as well. Yeah. Well, we've talked a lot today and I just want to thank you for joining us for this conversation about the pathway of worship and music. Now, this might be your pathway. You might feel close to God through music. I know a couple of you that are really crazy about music. And I encourage you to spend time with God in that place of music, in that place of singing, in that place of playing an instrument, and see how it feeds your heart and your soul. And I pray that you feel close to God. Thanks for joining me, Krista. Thanks for having me.